hello everyone welcome back in this video we'll see how to create the virtual machines from the azure portal so you can log into the azure portal using portal.azure.com so i'll be using the uh, free subscription for you know this demo session so once you log into the azure portal you can you know click on um, virtual machine so either you can go from this way click on the azure virtual machines or you can also search for virtual machine from the search option and uh, from here click on create and uh, azure virtual machine so uh, you need to select the subscription so since i'm using the free trial so i have selected the free trial and uh, you need to create the resource group since i don't have any existing resource group i'm just creating the new one so if you have any existing resource group you can use the existing resource group as well okay and uh, here you can enter the virtual machine name and uh, the region you can select the region which is you know closest to you so i'm going to select asia pacific So this is Australia East, Central India, okay I'll choose uh, Central India and uh, the availability option so I am selecting no infrastructure redundancy required and uh, image i'm going to select uh, windows server 2022 so you can click on see all images and uh, under the windows server you can select uh, you can just scroll down and look for uh, windows server 2022 okay windows server 2022 data center x64 gen 2 okay and uh, the size you can select uh, standard d2s v3 which is uh, 2 uh, vcpu and 8 gig memory and here uh, you need to enter the username so i'm going to put azure admin and the password okay so next uh, here uh, by default it is asking for rdp 3389 which is allowed and i'm also going to allow port 80 which is HTTP and uh, next click on disk so here you need to choose the OS uh, disk type either you can select premium SSD or standard or standard HDD next click on networking here uh, it's going to create a new VNet the virtual network subnet and it will assign the public IP and uh, these are the inbound ports port 80 and port 3389 okay I'm going to click next for management and just click next Okay, I'm just going with the default option here. Okay, you can click review plus create.
okay so let's wait for a minute so let this uh, validation check complete okay so the validation passed and now you can click on create you can also review the details that we have selected and just click on create okay so it is initializing the deployment so it will take uh, three to four minutes to complete all the deployments okay so the deployment is in progress so it will create uh, the resource one by one so let's wait for this deployment to be completed Okay, as we can see, uh, the NSG network security group is created. And uh, VM, you can see the VNet and the virtual machine creation in progress now. So for Windows Server 2022, at least uh, go with the minimum two vCPU and the eight gig. Otherwise, uh, if you select the one vCPU, then uh, you will be able to deploy it. But uh, you know, when you're actually logging into the VM, it will be very slow. Okay, so the deployment is complete. Okay, so the deployment succeed. Click on go to resource and uh, here our VM app dash VM01. We can see the status is running. And uh, this is the public IP and uh, this is the size. Okay, and uh, here we can see the private IP address, public IP address under the networking. And uh, here we can see the computer name, operating system, and uh, the image plan, VM generation, and the architecture. Okay, so if you go to virtual machines also, you can see the detail here. So to connect to this virtual machine, you can click on connect and download the RDP file. Okay, so just enter the username password. And uh, now I'm able to log in with the user ID, which I have provided while creating the uh, virtual machine, which is Azure admin. Okay, so I have successfully logged into the Azure VM, which I have deployed. Okay, so that's it in this video, and I'll see you in the next. Thank you.